Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, and I'm here with one of our two project cars, the 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata RF. And today we are going to remove the white vinyl racing stripes we installed some time ago. And while I really like the ra racing stripes, it's time for a change. Today, I'm gonna see how easy it is to remove the vinyl racing stripes, see if there's any residue that is left over that we have to contend with, and then I'm going to vinyl wrap just the roof in carbon fiber. If you're interested in seeing more, then stay tuned. coming off nice and clean. There is no residue. If anything, it's, wow, spotless. But right on the edges, and this has happened elsewhere, there is a little bit of residue, but this stuff, Maybe you're seeing that come off. It's easily, I mean, I'm, bare, I'm just dragging my finger. It comes right off. So. And there she is, back to stock. She kind of looks a little naked, missing something. I'm so used to seeing those white stripes. So there's the gloss black, gloss black roof panel that we are going to cover in carbon fiber vinyl wrap. So as you can see here, we have one panel, two, and three. So we're not gonna do the gray here. We're not gonna do the gray in front. And what's nice is they are distinct sections. Just a reminder, full disclosure, I am by no means an expert when it comes to vinyl wrap. I am still very much new at using the material. I'm enjoying it. I'm learning as I go. I am a hobbyist. So if you're gonna follow what I'm doing here, you do so at your own risk. I do not take any responsibility. And if you are an expert, if you know what you're doing and you can contribute by providing some feedback in, in the comment section below, please do so. I'm going to clean the top. If you need to use a clay bar or something to remove any contaminants, do so. After you're done cleaning and drying it thoroughly, I'm gonna wipe it down with a distilled water isopropyl alcohol mix, and that'll remove any residue from the soap in cleaning the top, any residue from grease or sweat, anything that could negatively impact how well the vinyl is going to stick We can put the roof back enough to separate the various panels. And with the first one, this will give us a clear access to the entire lip. As well as in back, it will give us a little bit more room on the second piece. Not a lot, but a little bit room. And the last one back here will have full access without the glass being in the way. So I could get the carbon wrap tucked all the way under here if I wanted to. I purchased the 3M 2080. There's different versions of carbon fiber and they also come in different colors as well. And other manufacturers also have their own offering reason why I purchased the 3M2080 is because uh, I really like the look of the carbon fiber. Again, there are a lot of different options. So at least based on the pictures that I saw online, I liked uh, the carbon fiber weave pattern that they had. But there's plenty of other manufacturers that offer vinyl wrap in carbon fiber. 
and I did purchase this on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. I so it's not glossy smooth. There is a texture. I can feel the contours. I have my isopropyl alcohol and my clean lint-free microfiber towel, which right before applying and as I go through this, I'll continuously wipe down the panels. Although I brought the car into the garage where the wind's not blowing any dust or debris, we're still gonna have some in the air and I don't want any of that to get underneath the vinyl wrap itself. So I'll do my best to keep this as clean as possible as we apply the vinyl wrap. I have, I have two tools here. This is a general cutter for the vinyl wrap. This will cut the larger roll that I just showed you down to shape. I then have my squeegee, and then I will use a razor blade to make my nice clean cuts. After everything smoothed out, I'm gonna use my heat gun. Specifically, this is a Vivid heat gun. It's not a hair dryer, it's a heat gun for vinyl wrap. And these are sold on Amazon. I can leave a link in the description below for you. As we lay it out, I'll then apply a little heat to help, if nothing else, for the wrap to conform around the edges. I am going to cut the roll down to a relative shape of this back panel. I will give myself several inches on the other side as well as the end for enough overlap. I'm gonna do my cut so you can see here the indent. I'm gonna take my razor blade, go all the way down, leaving enough for an overlap. Now, beforehand, I check to see how much of a lip there is, so I don't have to go all the way to the edge, probably right in between or the middle of this gap for here. Let's see if that comes across. I'll put the blade, put the blade, run it right along this edge and it should give a nice clean straight cut. And I use the edge here as a guide for my blade, just laying it, resting it, resting my finger to make a nice straight cut. I only put the blade out enough that just the tip so that I'm not cutting anything else. I laid it at a slight angle away from this piece of trim. And now I'm going to take a little bit of heat, my heat gun. I'll apply a little bit of heat here. And then I'm gonna use my tool to tuck it under, tuck it under, tuck it under. I'm gonna use this edge more as a guide for my hand. I'm gonna only put out the tip and slowly go across, be, keeping that blade away from this edge, away from that edge. All right, we've made our cuts on the side, made the cup cut on the top, applied some heat. And I used my felt tip squeegee, nice soft felt to tuck it under. Looking good so far. The last cut is underneath here. Now, right now this is kind of tucked. I don't really want that. So I'm going to pull it out a little bit, kind of attach it to the glass down here, make it a little taut so it'll be easier to cut a straight line across here. So there it is. So I tucked all the edges using a little bit of heat. I then went over the whole thing, just applied a little heat, smoothed everything out. How do I feel about this first piece? Um, you know, I'm not an expert. I've still only used vinyl a couple times. <laughs> Already I'm putting a disclaimer on this. So it's not perfect. Obviously from a distance, if you didn't know, you don't see the, the imperfections, but there are a couple. Right about here, I don't know if that's showing up. There's a little crease. Maybe I'll come back and pull this up and see if I can get this little crease out or a bubble. The nice thing with the vinyl is if you're really unhappy with it, I can just rip this up and try it again. 
but I'm not going to. I like it, it looks good. It's not perfect, but I'm gonna continue on. On the ends here, we don't have a gap that we can do a nice cut like we did on the first panel. So what I'm gonna use is knifeless tape. So here's the 3M knifeless tape, and I will leave a link in the description below where you can buy it. What it is is this green is sticky, and there is a thread embedded in there, and we're gonna lay the string along this edge. Right where that thread is, is where when you're done and you put the vinyl over it, you're going to pull on the thread, lift it up, and that thread is gonna cut through the vinyl to give you a nice, clean edge. As I had previously mentioned, I thought it'd be best to partially open the roof for these other panels. One, because this has uh, the weather stripping in between the two channels, and in, in between the two panels in this channel here, and I don't want to run the risk of cutting it. Plus, it's a fairly deep recess, so the gap probably wasn't enough where I could tuck it in and cover all this. So I want to do a, as good a job as I can. Here's the knifeless tape. Let's see how close I can get here. The green is removed afterwards. There's a white thread right in the middle there. And I laid that right where I want the wrap to be cut. And then later on, I'm gonna splice the end, grab a hold of the thread, and then tug the thread, which should then cut the vinyl wrap cleanly across. So with the razor blade, I make a little slice right in the middle, enough to peel back separating the green, I don't know if it's plastic, the green piece, and getting access to that thread. Once you're able to pull that apart, and that's why I gave myself plenty over here because it's not always easy to get the first time, but slice it down the middle with the razor blade, separate it, grab a hold of the thread, and make an initial tug so that the white thread or gray thread starts separating from the green piece here. So I was able to get the thread out. There it is. It's actually not white or gray. It actually looks magenta, purple, reddish. I don't know. Anyway, hold on to the plastic end. I need to separate it because you need that thread to not only cut the vinyl wrap, but you also need it to rip through this green casing that it has. Started it ripping through its casing. See, I can even just attach it here for now. Right here. Now when I get down to the wrap like I am right now, I gotta give it a firm enough tug that it does the initial tear of the wrap. So this line should start cutting this. Quick tug, make sure I got a hold of it. There it goes. So it just cut through. Keep the tension on it. There it goes. And you have the thread. Obviously, discard that. You're going to have to get the green casing and remove that as well. But let's peel back. There it is. Nice clean cut. And we'll just take the green casing, remove that. The other one's slightly underneath it. We'll just smooth that out. Voila. Just smooth that out there. Ah, perfect. This came out really nice. I'm really happy with this one. This was clean and easy. The knifeless tape worked out very well on each end. And my cuts were nice and clean with no impact to the weather stripping, the weather seal there. And now we are going to go on to the last panel. Got this one. 
going to leave the roof just the way it is so I can tuck under there. Easily I can tuck under here. I'm going to use the knifeless tape. Same thing right along this edge. I think it came out great. Looks really nice. However, if I were to do it again, I might do it in gloss instead of the matte finish. But that's the beauty of using vinyl wrap. If you're not happy with it for whatever reason, you get bored with it, you want to try a different color, you can rip it off and apply something new. But I'd love to hear what you think. What do you think of wrapping the top, whether it's in carbon fiber or not? What do you think of this matte carbon fiber? Would you wrap the roof of your RF? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And thank you for joining. And until next time.